let me uh, share a few tips as I reflect back on some of the things that have been most successful. So as far as our dog box, our whelping box, um, it's perfect. I mean, there's not really a whole lot more that you can do. The only thing that would beat our whelping box would be basically having the dogs indoors where you can observe them, like in a kiddie pool or something like that, some sort of open thing where you can be there and just watch them 24 seven. But that's not gonna be the way that I work. It may sound a, a bit dismissive, but it's just not the way that I work. We have a, a lot of other responsibilities to take care of, and we certainly wish our dogs well, and we give them tons of care, but we are unable to uh, stay with the dog 24 seven. So, um, but you know, some people use kiddie pools. If you have a litter that you just cannot you, afford to lose anything from, get a kiddie pool, get you some blankets, put it out. Uh, it may be in your carport or a living room if you have concrete or tile floors or wood floors and you're able to keep everything clean because they're going to make a mess. Um, so you don't want to do that in a carpeted house, obviously. The um, uh, And blankets will, uh, need, you need to be careful when you use blankets because the dogs will push the blankets to the side and kind of shove them to the side. And when they do that, they can trap a puppy underneath the blanket. And that, of course, that's, that's going to end up being a dead puppy if you're not careful. It won't be able to get any milk uh, and it uh, won't stay warm with its mother so watch out for blankets blankets are the best if you're able to observe the dogs 24 7. Um, next good thing is towels you know towels work really good as a bedding um, but again you have the same problem with with towels as you do with blankets so if you're going to have the dog outside in a whelping box i would not recommend blankets or towels uh, unless you're sitting there with them so the uh, next good alternative is carpet. Carpet works really well because carpet has some structure with it. And when it comes to Pele, I wish I would have used some carpet. I think that would have been ideal for the first 24 to 72 hours. After 48 to 72 hours, you need to take it out and discard it because it's gonna have a lot of placental fluid on it. And it's time to discard that and replace that with some bedding. But the first 48 hours or so, carpet is probably ideal because the mother's able to clean the puppies really well and then not get a bunch of uh, wood shavings like cedar shavings or pine shavings. You don't want to use chips, but shavings are okay. But you don't want the mother ingesting a lot of that because it sticks to the puppies when they're wet. And the mothers, of course, clean the placentas off of that and they'll ingest a lot of that on accident. The same thing, um, hay, it works okay. Um, it's But for the first 48 to 72 hours, I don't like to use hay or wood shavings. We've used it. But in an ideal world, carpet or cardboard is okay. Some people use uh, newspaper. I think that's a mistake. It just makes a big gooey mess. So um, I wanted to share those thoughts. So if I was going to, you know, really had an important litter, the, I would use a kiddie pool in an indoors environment if I could. If I could not, I would use a whelping box with carpet for the first 48 to 72 hours. And then I'd switch to cedar shavings and pine shaving mixture of about 50-50. That's the way I would, that's the way I prefer to do it. With Pele, uh, we didn't use the carpet because I haven't used carpet in years, um, just because most of our dogs are pretty good. But if you really want to maximize your, the number of uh, puppies that live, that's the ideal. Anyway, that's the tips for the day. You have a blessed day.